Joining me now here on the MMA Report of Man, it's going to be the main event of Shamrock FC 322 on September the 6th as he has his final MMA fight. Lucas, man, I appreciate time. Long journey for you. All going all the way back to, to 1999. People can look at your record back in 2001. You take on Tiago Alves and his second pro fight. I mean, as you think about how this game has changed over the last 20 years, what is there one big thing you point to, towards? Yeah, uh, like like everything's changed since I start. Uh, when I start do uh, train, we was called Vale Tudo in Brazil. Uh, we also have not MMA gloves, and the rounds was to be ten minutes round. And uh, now we have a lot of rules. Uh, you know, uh, the referees were very careful about the safety of the fights. And that's very important. That's why MMA have been growing uh, very well and fast. So we see a lot of changes. For as long as you've been in this sport, when you know there's a young guy in the gym and and he comes up to you and he says, "Man, if there's one piece of advice you can give me, what would it, what would that one piece of advice to a young fighter be?" Well, the, make sure he's trained every day. Uh, stay out of drugs, alcohol. Uh, avoid some kind of friends who you drag you down and um, you know uh, stay health uh, listen to the coach uh, be respectful for the the teammates and keep following the dreams and of course uh, mentioned a final fight uh, first fight in, in several years for you uh, what ultimately led to the decision of uh, you know why you know hey let's do one more and is it kind of say you know what I just want to have one more before I, I call it a career well, uh, everything starts by my kids. Uh, I have two sets of twins. I have two boys, two girls, uh, six and seven years old. And they always look at my stuff and my pictures, my DVDs and some fights I have over YouTube. And they keep asking me why I stop. And I tell them, you know, I was trained uh, full fight, uh, full time when I was living in Coconut Creek, Florida, America top team. And since my kids... Uh, Born, I have been worked towards to give a uh, good education for my kids, spend uh, much more uh, time as possible around my kids to be part of my kids' life. And uh, this is a, something uh, growing the idea for my kids asking me, why not do the last one? And after a few attempts to do the last fight uh, several years ago, so now, uh, after talk to Jess Finney and Rob Donica, they gave me an opportunity to the, that happen. And I uh, will take has a, a great and the last time I will step in the cage. Is there something you're going to take in on fight day that, that uh, you know, maybe you just don't take in when it's just a, another fight just because you know it's the last time you'll, you'll make that walk? Well, it's, it's, it's hard to say uh, until I walk into the cage, uh, but I know I have been uh, think about, uh, you know, the last, like, the last few years I have been have a hard time to let it go, the, the feeling I wish to be a fight when people ask, I know you, I see you, and I like to tell them I wish to be a fight because when I, I was to fight, I was to be a full-time fighter, and we train in the morning, afternoons and night to follow up all the schedules. Now I have a side work and uh, it's just hard to let it go, the feeling, you know, it's a great feeling. You have that, you fly around, you go to, to big shows, you meet new people every single week and, you know, make a lot of friends, but it's time to me let it go. And uh, I feel like my body is, is hurt. Uh, he cannot handle much mm. the way you was to be anymore. And I think any, any professional fight was should know when it's time to let it go. And of course, everyone's going to be able to watch this fight here on Fight TV on September the 6th, Shamrock FC 322. I really appreciate the time. Of course, uh, let everyone know they can follow you on social media. Any sponsor you want to shout out? Uh, the floor is yours, man. Well, I want to first thank uh, thank you, Jason, for having me here today. I really appreciate that. That means a lot for me. And I want to say thank you everybody else who have been uh, training for me, Coach Quinto, O'Brien, uh, Coach TJ, anything, uh, any, any people who have been training and helped me in the last several years uh, have been part of my life, uh, my wife, my kids, uh, Jessie Finney, 
Rob Donica for the great opportunity and special to Mr. John Maglin, who owns the Maglin Lumber. And I do appreciate everything you guys have done for me.